Thanks to a birthday at my house, we're going to do a quick demonstration about air pressure. Um, so we have this lovely Mylar balloon. It's filled with helium gas, and we're standing inside the house, which is currently at 20 degrees Celsius. For anyone who's used to Fahrenheit, this is around uh, 70 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's nice and warm in the house. What's happening inside this balloon, we can see it's nice and stiff, um, and it's because, because of the warm temperature in the house, um, it's causing all the helium air molecule and air molecules, uh, the gas molecules, they're bumping around, they're really energetic. And when they're really energetic, they bounce around a lot and the gas expands. Um, so that's what happens in warm temperatures. Our gases expand and that increases the pressure that it's exerting. Now we're going to step outside because it's really cold today and we're going to watch what happens to the helium gas inside this balloon and talk about uh, that change in air pressure. All right, so we're stepping outside. Oops. And based on the thermometer that we have out here, it's right at zero. It's, so it's minus 4.4 degrees Celsius. It's actually still coming down. Um, so we've had temperatures today down around minus 15 degrees Celsius. And if we look at the balloon, it's already getting saggy. So what's happening is that cold temperature is reducing the kinetic energy for that helium gas. The molecules are cold and they're shivering and they're, they're just moving slower. So the air pressure is much lower and it's not pushing out on the balloon. In fact, if we were to hand this to my kid today, they'd think that it was broken. But it's just a change in temperature um, that's decreasing that kinetic energy and the air molecules are slowing down. They're pushing less on the outer uh, on the balloon and it's deflating. Um, and that's because it's super cold out. So if we step back inside, we can just watch. Just thanks to a change in temperature, we'll see that it's gonna start to go back up and increase. And the balloon will be coming back to life because our molecules are getting happy, moving around, bouncing together, and it's all back to normal. All thanks to air pressure. <laughs>